Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from my t-shirt, today is going to be a WWE type video. And I'm going to be predicting this year's Royal Rumble card. Well, I guess it's not this year, it's next year, but like it's only like a month away, so. Um, yeah, I'll be going through a rundown of all the matches that I think are going to happen and why I think they're happening and who's going to win, so yeah. Let's get started and uh, we'll start off with the pre-show. So the first match on the pre-show, I think, will be Shinsuke Nakamura versus Shorty G for the IG. Uh, no, not IG, I can't see. I mean, I can't talk. What am I saying? The IC title, Intercontinental title, whatever. I'm triggered. I think that's going to be on the pre-show because, like, they don't really do anything with Shinsuke. And Shorty G isn't main card ready because, like, he's just not that big. So, yeah. And I think Shinsuke would retain. So, moving on. The next match, the last match on the pre-show, I think would be the War Raiders versus the OC. That's for the tag team, the Raw tag team titles. And I think that'll be on the pre-show because no one cares. I think War Raiders would retain, and again, we're going to move on to the main show. Sorry, my hair looks like a mess. Okay, so to kick off the show, I think they would have uh, Becky Lynch started off. She can open up the show. Becky versus Liv Morgan. Obviously, they're going to be debuting her in her new look soon, so a better way to, like, get her new character started by, uh, like, giving her a title match. Of course, she'll lose, but, like, starting her off somewhere is a good, like, start, so. Again, like I just said, I think Becky will retain. Okay, so the next match I think they would do is the New Day versus the Revival in, like, a little, like, rematch thing because, again, no one cares about the tag team division. And uh, the New Day would probably retain, so nothing new about that. Then we have the Kabuki Warriors in the next match versus Sonya and Mandy. Uh, I think Sonya and Mandy will have a match at TLC against Alexa and Nikki. Uh, at the time of filming this, TLC hasn't happened yet. It's happening later today, and I don't think anything's announced. Also, my nail polish is, like, it distracting, sorry. So, I think they're gonna beat Alexa and Nikki somehow by cheating, and then somehow they'll get in line for, like, a title opportunity. And I think that the Kabuki Warriors will retain. And then after that, we'll probably get the Men's Royal Rumble. Uh, there's, like, a few, like, surprises in there that I made. Like, I made a whole separate video of, like, who I think the entrance would be. I forgot CM Punk was a possibility. I didn't even put him in there, though. So, if you want to watch it, go ahead, but don't expect him to be in it. Yeah, and then, like, one of the surprises I put in there was Batista, since he's in the Hall of Fame this year. And, yeah, if you want to see my, like, entrance, just go watch that video. I think the winner of this year's Royal Rumble will be Drew McIntyre, and he'll go on to face... Brock Lesnar at Wrestlemania since it's something that we haven't seen and I'd rather see that than something that we already have seen. So then I think the next match would be Rey Mysterio's title match for the United States Championship. I do think this match will be a triple threat between AJ and and Andrade. It seems like Andrade is going to be dropping Zelina soon so like Maybe he'll, like, want to, like, do something on his own for once. And then AJ will, like, uh, maybe have a match with Randy tonight at TLC. That feud will be over and he can focus on Ray. So, Ray, AJ, and Andrade in a triple threat. And I actually think Andrade will be picking up the win on his own. So that way he can have credit without having to have Zelina Vega monitor him. And then after that match, we have, I don't know, like... If they would do it this way, like, it's it could go either way. But I'm just going to guess that it's going to be Bailey versus Lacey. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a match tonight at 
TLC2 for the Women's Championship, but Sasha's probably going to interfere, cheat. That's going to get Lacey a rematch. They'll have it at the Royal Rumble. Sasha is going to get involved again and, you know, keep her little alliance with Bailey. And then, uh, in the Royal Rumble match, uh, later that night, which I think is going to be my next match prediction, Sasha is going to be in the Final Four, which, if you haven't watched my other video for that, predicting those entrants, I also pick who's going to be eliminated in the order, too. And Sasha's in the Final Four with Charlotte, Shayna, and Ronda Rousey. So I think Charlotte will get rid of Shayna, and then Ronda will get rid of Charlotte. Then it'll be Sasha versus Ronda. So obviously one of those two would win, but can Sasha eliminate Ronda on her own? Probably not. So Bailey would come out, help Sasha eliminate Ronda somehow. And then while Bailey goes in there to like hug Sasha and stuff, Sasha turns on her. Oh, that just sounds so good. And then, like, they can have a feud that we were supposed to have, but we never got. And we'll have it, uh, at Mania. And then, in the meantime, Ronda can feud with Sasha, like, fight her at, like, Elimination Chamber. And then fight Bailey at Fastlane just for, like, to get revenge. And then she can go against Becky at Mania after Fastlane. Like, they can build Becky versus Ronda for Mania. So the second to last match will be a brawl match or a quick match. And that's because it will be Randy versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Oh no, the heavyweight title because they switched brands. I forgot. So these two have fought before, but it was like pretty good. So like, if they like did it again, I wouldn't care. Uh, I don't know who else would be like hyped enough to fight Brock Lesnar for Royal Rumble, so I'm just going with Randy. And of course, Randy will retain. I mean, not retain. Oh my god. Brock will retain. Sorry, I keep messing up a lot. It's like 2 in the morning or something. I don't even know what time it is, but I'm tired. And the final match will probably be Roman versus The Fiend. I don't know why they keep having The Fiend main event things, but he'll probably be the main event tonight, and he'll probably be the main event at Royal Rumble. Uh, as you can see, if you watch my other video, I didn't have The Miz or Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble or in any of the other matches that I've talked about. So, like, why would they be off the card? Well, this is why I think that they're not going to be in the other matches. So, Bray took Daniel to hell, and this, tonight, actually, he'll be fighting The Miz, which he'll probably take The Miz to hell, too, so... They'll become his little, like, goons or something, and he'll have, like, probably have them in cool makeup or something, I don't know. And they'll, like, be outside the ring when he fights Roman, and it'll be for the title. <coughs> Sorry, it'll be for the title, obviously. And when you think Roman's gonna win, the Miz and Jenna Bryan are gonna get involved, and then, boom, Roman loses, and The Fiend retains. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this little, like, predictions thing. And um, tell me what you think. Go watch my uh, prediction videos for um, the entrance of the Royal Rumble and who's going to be eliminated and stuff. That's on my other channel. Drop a little email 21. Just search it. Click on the channel. You'll see the wrestling videos. And yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And thanks for watching. Bye.